Hi guys, I'm Daria and today we're gonna talk about my my experience in IELTS which I just had a couple of days ago. So if you are interested in my life hacks, how to deal with the IELTS exam and IELTS preparation, continue watching this video. Let's get started. So just a couple days ago I had IELTS exam and with my fresh memories I want to uh, share with you what was there and like uh, which topic did I have. So I need to tell you that it was IELTS general exam. So there were uh, two exams like academic and, um, and general. So academic test is that uh, you need for like academic, for university, for work or something. So the, the so your English related to the academic field or general. This is the, your general score about your general English. For my IELTS preparation, I used E2 language. So these guys are awesome. Like, thank you. It is not an advertisement. No, this is just only my experience and my knowledge of like about what, what is exists in the IELTS preparation field. So these guys are awesome, seriously. So they finally explain me how does the IELTS work and how to deal with the IELTS exam. Because before the reading part was terrible for me. So I so I already had four IELTS exams and this first two so without without E2 language. The first two was uh, I don't know so I, I got lost in reading. So the reading part was terrible because I, I didn't understand how in 60 minutes I, I need to understand every single word because I need to uh, memorize somehow everything to answer all these questions and like with all of these guys I I just uh, realized that no, I don't need basically uh, to to read and sometimes do not need to understand some parts because uh, you just find the synonyms or it depends on text. Uh, sometimes I got really easy ta ta text and I just found almost the same words. Uh, like for example, there it was different and then it was differ. So the same and then you just you just linked the the question with this part and uh, and that's it this is an answer so and this saves uh, save save your life definitely <laughs> so this is about reading uh, about the whole platform so in their platform they have uh, all practices for all four parts listening reading writing and speaking they have all videos uh, that explain how how do how do examinators um score you like how to boost your score they also have live classes so a lot so really a lot of information that you might need to for your preparation and also what i like is the price so basically for all of this and for six month access i paid only uh 30 dollars this is like and also there for 30 dollars i got one mock test and for a practical test where the mock test is that you you have only like like a rehearsal of your exam so you have only two and a half um two and a half hours to finish all three parts and then you make an appointment with their uh, their tutorial uh to have a speaking part as well and also you got a feedback this is really valuable if you are preparing alone so without any courses and if you need courses so of course they have uh, packages for for that too and um what i wanted to say ah and also in four practical tests so in four practical tests with uh, no time limit you just um, have your time analyzing text or writings and so on so really like practice they also have additional materials so again this is not advertisement this is just an awesome platform which explains and gives you a lot yeah, so about uh, about writing, I was quite lucky. I need to write an email uh, to invite my colleague uh, to, for a conference. And then, I don't know, 
because it was for the first time when I used this uh, life hack. So I will share with you if you need this. So how how would it work? Because my result, I, I will know my the result in 13 days. So. Uh, so I invited my colleague uh, to an Arctic conference and this, I hope, this, this was a kind of a genius idea uh, because I used their vocabulary related to the Arctic, so like uh, remote Arctic communities, like Arctic settlements, indigenous people, um, I don't know, so, and all of other, other really specific words and this is exactly uh, what IELTS examinators um, look for. If you have such a, such a chance to some kind of uh, use your strong, uh, strong puff, uh, strong, uh, strong part of your vocabulary, just use it. Uh, and also I used this life hack with speaking and it's, this, this helped me a lot because like in speaking in the first, in the first part, you got, uh, you'd be asked uh, two, two, uh, so one of two questions. So either do you work or study, or where do you live? So in August, when I had exam, uh, I've been asked uh, where do I live, and I said that I've been living in Vienna, blah blah blah. But I grew up in the Arctic uh, region, and I just kind of refocus to that again. So I use the vocabulary like moss or I don't know. <laughs> so again, indigenous people, remote communities, far north. So such a, such a vocabularies, and again, I use the the same life hack. Uh, now, when uh, I've been asked, uh, do I work or study? And I said that both. I'm also doing my PhD about Arctic and again. That's an idea. About listening, uh, I would say that it is difficult to, to explain because this is like uh, nothing to explain basically because you have just only uh, your 25 to 30 minutes to just listen to and answer the questions. Um, also, one life hack that I, that I found in the internet is that uh, basically you already heard and um, in the... And in a paper-based exam, the recording gives you some minutes to check your answer. But but basically, do you need to check an answer? Because you already heard and some you already forgot. So maybe it might use, be useful to, to spend this time to, to check the next questions, to go through the next questions. So I, 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 I use this because I realized because before I spent this time for checking answers and basically it didn't help because I just lost time. I just was staring on my answers and already completely forgot what I have listened. And my friend gave me this, is, is this advice that just uh, watch video or listen some podcast or something. So just uh, make a, make a audio or something. And, and make a script. So just write what do you hear and then compare what you have heard and to what you have uh, written. So YouTube is also a good idea because uh, YouTube makes automatic uh, captions and you or, or it's automatically or the YouTube uh, downloaded. Uh, and then you have the whole script. This is useful, so really it helped me a lot. Well, thank God for your help. About speaking again. So speaking part was uh, funny because uh, in August I got topic about love and today I got topic about comedies and love. So basically almost the same. And for me it was a tricky one because uh, I'm not kind of person that's uh, watching and really fan of movies. And uh, also I think that um, about love, like what could you say about love? Could you speak a lot about love? <laughs> I don't know. So for me, it was difficult. But uh, like I'm kind of person that uh, I was thinking that I'm a person who was able to talk about every single topic. Of course, I did. I did all my best. 
So like, let's see uh, the result of it. <laughs> also, I found in the internet that uh, the IELTS has uh, different uh, packages for different periods of year. So if you are taking exams, say, uh, just in, in the next couple couple days or weeks, uh, so the, be, be ready that you might be asked about comedies and love and also about furniture, because while I was sitting and waiting for my turn, uh, I yeah the door was closed but uh, maybe because of the acoustic or something I've heard uh, several words uh, about furniture and uh, one question was what kind of uh, what's your favorite piece of furniture like what may I I was also like kind of uh, making up my answer to this question and so I don't know what could I say like could people really identify like the love the most favorite piece of furniture? Mm, yeah, of course they can. Yeah, I wish you the great success and I hope that uh, you will get uh, easy topics and uh, topics with uh, which you are familiar with. And yeah, I wish you good luck. And please comment down below uh, what kind of life hacks you use during your preparation. Because uh, if I do not get a score that I have planned, then I continue my preparation for IELTS. So please comment down below your life hacks that helped you already or you are using it now. And I would appreciate. Thank you so much. Please subscribe because... I, I hope that I should come back to my PhD. Yeah, I do. So please subscribe and see you later. And yeah, let's improve our single day. Ciao.